Hi everyone, in this tutorial we're going to learn how to create a looping hover animation like this in Figma. So uh, let's get started. As you see all I have as a component is this button. The pop-up frame and other content is static. So I'm going to copy this pop-up frame and uh, start building my component. Let's check the layers. Background shadow 1 and shadow 2. So uh, I'm selecting the whole pop-up frame and turning that into a component and uh, clicking the prototype tab. I'm just adding another variant to my component by clicking the plus button and uh, in this component. Actually, let's go back to design tab. In this component, uh, since I want the shadow one layer to have 100% opacity with a reversed gradient in the background to create first step of that hover animation. So this is going to be my first variant or first step of my animation, right? So I'm creating another variant by clicking the plus button. In this one, shadow one is going to have the normal gradient and 50% opacity. But in this variant, I want shadow two layer to have reverse gradient. and 100% opacity, right? Actually, I need one more variant to, uh, to complete the loop of my animation. You might think wiring a connection from the second variant or second frame of my animation to the default state but unfortunately it doesn't solve our problem since we want our hover animation to be triggered while hovering the default state. Actually, we can see that by a demonstration. So let's say I completed all the states that I would need for my looping hover animation and I'm dragging a connection from the default state to shadow one state. And of course it's going to be while hovering and smart animate is out in 300 milliseconds. Rest of the settings look fine to me. And the next connection from, actually let's test this real quick from the assets. I'm dragging an instance of my brand new pop-up component to my test frame and control click the frame and shift space to preview my prototype inline. And I'm hovering. Yeah, the uh, first step of my animation works, right? So, uh, the second step of my animation is going to be having the second shadow layer 100% opacity with a reversed gradient in the background, right? So, uh, it's going to be after delay actually since I want to create a looping hover animation. The rest of the settings look fine. That's uh, after this step preview for animation yeah it's not looping yet what uh, all the steps that I need in my hover animation is there as I see it so uh, let's say uh, to complete the loop I can just drag a wire from second shadow uh, state to or variant to the default variant. So uh, that would be again after delay and uh, 800 milliseconds. Uh, in my tests, uh, it's an interval that makes sense. Let's quickly preview our animation and see what happens. So I'm hovering the default state. It completes the loop. 
but the animation doesn't work for a second time. I want the animation to happen as long as I'm hovering the pop-up element, right? So in order to do that, uh, what I need to do is I'm going to just disable this connection and add one more variant, which is going to have uh, the exact same look of the default state up here, right? So in order to do that, I'm going to the design tab and I'm not naming my variants for now to quickly demonstrate the animation. So I'm control clicking the shadow to layer to be able to select it comfortably and reversing its gradient to have the very same look in my default state and reducing its opacity actually here and reducing its opacity to 20%. So we have the exact same look that our default state has, right? After that, all I need to do is go back to prototype tab and drag in a connection from the uh, shadow to state to, to my third state. And uh, of course, it's going to be after delay the trigger is going to be after delay and rest of the settings can remain the same so let's see what happens real quick control click in the test frame and shift space and i'm hovering the elements and my animation continues to happen only once so uh, here we are completing the loop, but uh, in order to rewind our animation, in order to initiate the loop again, we need to drag a connection to the uh, shadow one state, right? So uh, trigger is going to be after delay, but the rest can remain the same. So let's uh, control click the frame test our animation again so I'm hovering over the pop-up yeah as long as I'm hovering the animation occurs but the issue here is when I stop hovering the element the animation doesn't stop I also need to resolve that right so what's missing here from the, every uh, step of the loop or from the every animated state I need to drag a connection to the default state which only has the trigger of hovering and uh, selecting trigger mouse leave and uh, establishing a connection to the default state So with that, I guess we're going to be able to selecting uh, mouse leaf again. And from the third state to the default state, which only has the trigger of hover. And selecting mouse leaf as the trigger and rest can stay the same. So hopefully with that, we're going to have a hover animation as we want. Let's quickly check the prototype. So I'm hovering. The loop animation happens. So I'm leaving hovering and stops. When I go back, the animation loop starts again. Let's put the other elements on our pop-up. To see the whole thing I'm gonna select these copy and paste those elements on our pop-up and once more previewing our animation again so I'm hovering as you see there is a glitch that uh, content elements on pop-up are moving slightly but 
since this is for demonstration and practicing our prototyping skills. I don't think it matters that much. Hope you liked it. Uh, see you in the next tutorial.